Hello and this is exactly how to fix Valorant either stuck on 0% or stuck on 45%. Now if you have any problems with updating then I have got a few solutions. So first of all we must do like the, the standard thing so just check right here search for windows updates and then check for your updates check for the updates check if they are if your pc is up to date if it's not then update it now in my case it's up to date check if your graphics card is up to date so go to device manager then go to display adapters go to your graphics card update the driver check if the driver is up to date and if that all works then you can close down your valorant now when closing down Valorant, make sure it's closed down right here so in my case i need to close this down exit vanguard yes now, once you've done that, please open up your task manager, go to details, and then make sure there's no Valorant in here. If that is all right, then you can close this down. Now we're gonna go into the first step, and that is to disable your antivirus. So if you're using like an external program like me, I have a Bitdefender, then you need to disable this. So in my case, uh, I need to open this up, then go to this, open the antivirus, and I need to turn it off. I suggest turning it off for like an hour, then downloading your Valorant and this can be a major problem uh, because your antivirus might block it so you should disable it now let's say this doesn't work or you don't really want to do this then i have another solution for you so what we're going to do is we're going to open up our command prompt just type cmd and then go to run as administrator now once it's open up we're going to type the following commands so we're going to type sc space delete space vgk now press on enter and then you can write the same thing again sc delete and then type vgc press enter again and then both vgc and vgk should be deleted now you can close this down and you need to restart your pc but before we're restarting our pc we need to do another thing open up your file explorer then go to your c drive or wherever you install the right games go to program files and then you should see riot vanguard here it is. Now you need to delete this file. So delete the file, uh, say that you're an administrator. And then when you delete it, the next time that you play Valorant, it will automatically um, reinstall it again. And then your update should go fine and as it should. Now, most importantly, restart your PC now and then check if the Valorant works. I hope you found this video useful and I'd say thank you for watching.